If you're not having any luck connecting to your remote computer from your local desktop, you came to the right place. I'll be showing you a few things to check in your local machine and your remote computer. So let's get started. Starting off with local machine, let's do a ping test to make sure that you are able to at least talk to the remote computer. Sometimes if your computer is behind a corporate network, the ping packets or the ICMP packets is blocked. So just be aware before you start these steps. So hold Windows R, opens the uh, command dialog box. In here, you type CMD and hit OK. This will open a command prompt. In here, you're going to type PING followed by the IP address of your machine. Mine's going to be 50.192 and click enter. If the connection is successful, you should be getting a reply from a remote machine like this. If the connection is bad, so it's going to make it a bad IP address, you'll, you'll get a message saying that no reply from your remote computer. Request timeout like that. So you go and try three times and the program will exit. If this is the case, you want to check your Ethernet cable and your network settings and make sure all your hubs and switches are good. Assuming that you got a good reply from a remote machine, I'm going to close this guy here. Next, we're going to hop over to our remote machine and do some RDP setup and checking. Now we are in this remote machine here. So this is the machine that uh, the other machine was trying to access. In this remote machine, you're going to make sure that your RDP uh, function is enabled. To do that, hold your Windows R and then in this dialog box, you'll be typing sysdm.cpl and click OK. What this does is that opens the system property window in here. Click on remote tab. And in, in the section of remote desktop, make sure that allow remote connection to this computer is enabled. So once that's done, click on OK and this will close the window. The second thing you can check on your remote machine is to make sure that your firewall settings are set up correctly. Hold Windows R to open up the run dialog box. In here, you're going to type wf.msc and hit enter. This will open up the Windows firewall setting windows here. So over here, you're going to click on inbound rules and you're going to navigate all the way down and until you see remote desktop shadow, remote desktop user mode TCP, remote desktop user mode UDP. If you scroll all the way to the right, under the column of local port, make sure on your remote desktop shadow TCP in, the port is called any. User mode TCP in, the port is 3389. User mode UDP in is 3389. Once all that setting is done, let's close your Windows firewall settings here. Next, we'll be checking to make sure that your Ethernet is public facing. Click on Windows button here. Go to settings. And on the menu on the left hand side, click on network and internet. In here, click on Ethernet. And make sure that your Ethernet is public facing. Once that's done, close this Windows setting. Next, we'll be checking, making sure that your network profile is sharing. First, hold Windows R to open command prompt. In here, you'll be typing ncpa.cpl. And once that's done, click OK. This will open up the network connections in here. On this navigation cookie trail, click on network and internet. In here, you'll be clicking on network and sharing center. And on the left hand side, change advanced sharing setting click on it and over here make sure that you turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing and click ok once you're done making these four changes to in your remote machine reboot the remote machine and try connecting from your local computer again